Hydrofracking for gas involves injecting toxic laden fresh water and sand at extremely high pressures into the rock layer to shatter the stone and release the gas. In over 30 states in the US, hydrofracking has generated immense environmental problems, including contaminated drinking water, toxic ponds, drilling fluid leaks, and flammable tap water. Residents of drilling areas in the US have become chronically ill from liver, heart, blood and brain damage as well as leukemia and other cancers due to exposure to carcinogenic neurotoxins and radioactive wastes in the air, water and soil. There have been countless causes of death in wildlife and livestock in areas where this process is used. In the US, property values have plummeted near fracking wells due to potential damage to wells, streams, land and roads. Fracking in Ireland will create a short-term gas boom for outside investors, followed by a long-term economic bust. Gas drilling is a boom-bust industry. Profits are short-lived, with little money staying in the community, while a very few reap financial benefits. Entire communities must pay for damages and to clean up a degraded environment. In Ireland, three oil and gas companies have been granted onshore gas exploratory licenses for the Loch Allen and Clare Basin regions. These regions cover areas in Leitrim, Roscommon, Sligo, Donegal, Cavan, Monaghan, Mayo, Clare, Limerick, Cork and Kerry. Tamboran Resources Limited, Loch Allen Natural Gas Company and NG Oil PLC intend to use hydraulic fracturing to extract any deposits of shale gas found here. Recently, bans on fracking have been put in place in the states of New York and New Jersey in the United States, in the North Rhine-Westphala, Germany, in South Africa and in France.